everybody welcome to Valentum creations my name is diva i do cold process soaps um, and luxury bath products and today i'm going to be making a cotton candy cold process soap so i wanted to take you along with me uh, before we get started if you are a new soap maker please go and check out lye safety it is very important you can hurt yourself with lye. Um, it can burn your skin, so it is very important that you practice lye safety before you continue to make any types of hot process, cold process soap that contains um, sodium hydroxide. All right, so before we even get started, I have my oils already at room temperature. I have my lye which has been also at room temperature. And I'm going to put on gloves before we get started. Now it is very important to use gloves because you can burn yourself with the lye, um, with lye or even in the soap. Once you put the lye in the, in the, um, with the soap, um, if it gets on your skin, it is going to burn and it is not pleasant because it has happened to me. All right, and I'm gonna get a little apron on because I tend to get things all over myself. So I'm just gonna put an apron on. And I am gonna be making, it's a cotton candy um, soap. The fragrance is from Candle Science. Um, and it literally smells like cotton candy. I'm gonna be using three pigments, the mica pigments. One is Party Pink Mica from Brambleberry. The second one is Berry Twist Mica from Nurture Soap. And then Caribbean Blue Mica from Nurture Soap. So that is what I'm gonna be using. I have my, I have about three ounces of fragrance oil here and I have my titanium dioxide, which is my white pigment for my soap. I'm gonna be splitting this batch off into four. All right, guys. All right, so I am gonna blend out my oils. I don't know how this fragrance oil is gonna react um, once I do mix everything together. I'm hoping it's smooth sailing and it doesn't seize up on me. So I, my plan is to do a drop swirl, but we will only know once we've got this going. And we're gonna be pouring in the lye solution into the container. And we're gonna be doing it slow. I pour it right down the soap the um the shaft of the mixer there we go and we pour slowly i hope you guys can see all this all right and i'm just gonna mix it without turning on the blender i don't want to over mix things I'm gonna blend and I want to get to a light trace I don't want to overdo my product because if not it's gonna get really thick and then it doesn't give me enough time to work with my colorants and you want it to a light trace I'm not sure if you guys can see that but is a light trace and I'm just gonna clean this off here there we go <clears throat> okay I'm gonna add in my coloring afterwards Actually, I'm gonna need another container. 
That way I can do my frosting. That's what my hopes are. There we go. So my first one is gonna be for my white. I'm just gonna pour that in there. I don't need too much. All right. And then I'm trying to get you guys all in the frame here. Don't need much of this because I'm gonna, the white is gonna be mostly the main color. And then I'm gonna have the accent colors to go along with it. Right. And I'm gonna need my white for my frosting. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is do a drop swirl out of here. So I'm gonna put it in here actually. I'm just gonna scrape out my container. So that's going to be my main color here. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to actually zoom you guys in a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to mix my colorants first. My white is going to be first, so I'm going to pour a little bit of my titanium dioxide in here. And it has been blended and dispersed in a light oil. And let me just grab my stick blender. I'm just going to give this a little blend. I don't want to over blend because then... It's just gonna thicken up. I, I don't know about the fragrance oil, so I'm gonna add in a little bit more white. So I want the base to be white. There we go. I'm gonna do a little bit more of the titanium dioxide. I might need some for the other colors also. There we go. I'm just gonna clean this off. do a little bit of party pink mica. Oh, if I can get this open. And soaping does become quite messy, I can tell ya. All right. Put a little bit of that in here. I might as well get all my colors in there because even do any of my fa fragrance oil. All right. Then I'm going to put a little bit of titanium dioxide in it. That way it can give it more of a paler color. I think I need a little bit more pink. And I'm going to just pour a little bit of the titanium dioxide in each one. Just gonna mix it up here. I think I need a little bit more pink in here.
got this color mixed in. I'm not too fond of the color right now. So. I'm thinking of putting a different pigment in there. Give me one minute. Ah, just not liking how that's coming out. So I'm using another, a different one, Raspberry Mica, and that's from Brambleberry. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh, and that's what I mean. It gets, it can get really dirty. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Show you guys the color that's the color I'm going for okay you always want to clean your stick blender because it's not fun to try to get soap off of it once it's dried up so I try to get the best of I can off of it all right I'm not going to mix the, uh, the fragrance oil yet. I'm just trying to get everything situated. I've got the blue in there. Let's mix up that blue. Oh, that's such a pretty blue. All right. I should be wearing long sleeves because... If this gets on my skin, it sure as heck is going to burn. And it is not pretty. All right, guys, let me show you this blow. So that's a really pretty blow. I think we're, we've got the right colors for cotton candy, don't you think? All right. Next one is the purple with a little bit of titanium dioxide. I don't want a really strong pigment. See, it's starting to get a little thick on me. Just want to mix things up here. three colors here. Let me just clean this up a bit since I make a mess. All right. So now we have the white. And let's see. I'm going to just put my colors over here for now. All right. Put my five pound mold from Nurture Soap what I use for my soaps. Let me just try to get it in here. All right, and I'm gonna pour a little bit of my fragrance oil in here. I wanna pour all of it because I don't know how this is gonna do. I'm actually gonna pour a little bit more. It's doing okay. Oh, it smells like cotton candy. It smells delicious. some of it in this pink. All right, so I think what I'm going to do, I was going to do a drop swirl, but I'm not. So I'm going to take you guys along with me here. All right, so I'm just going to pour it in. And I'm going to pour some of the pink, but I'm going to pour it from up high. All right, we've got that one. 
And I'm actually gonna do the blue. I'm gonna pour a little bit here. All right, let's just mix that. Sorry guys, I'm trying. Never done a YouTube video. My first one was cut in soap, and that wasn't the best video. All right, I'm gonna pour from up high again. I'm actually very happy that it's still liquidy. All right. And then I'm gonna pour the rest of that fragrance oil in my purple. Oh, that smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. We're gonna pour even higher. All right, we're gonna pour a little bit of that white. I don't want everything in there because I'm, I'm gonna actually do the, the topping, which I'll show you guys that also. See, it's starting to get a little thick on me. So it's actually just gonna be plopping in there. All right, let me just put rest of the white here in my container. All right. Sorry guys, my lighting is not the greatest. I'm trying to work with the natural light, but it's going in and out. I'm just gonna do a little design on here. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Actually, I have a little bit left over on here so I can plop it on there. There we go. Still had some pink left over. Gotta use it all up. I do use all organic ingredients. I do not use palm in my soap. Just gonna do I'm just trying to get it going here kind of mix the colors even though I'm gonna do piping on the top of it I still like to make it pretty there we go I like to do a little figure eight And I will bring you back to pipe. All right, guys, I'm back to pipe on the top of my cotton candy soap. I'm just gonna spray it with um, some alcohol. All right. And I have my topping. I was gonna do white, but I'm doing more of like a greenish kind of color and I'm hoping my frosting is ready it's a little it's not quite set up yet but I'm hoping it 
it will get harder as time goes. All right, I'm still gonna do a few more rows of the soap. And I have my soaps marked for one inch soaps. So I try to keep it in the lines because I'm gonna have some embeds to go on the top of my soap. Still a little soft, but it's getting, it's harding it up. Um, try to go closer for you guys. Oops, that's okay. I got a little bit on there. I think my favorite part of the soap is piping, to be quite honest. And I am out of soap, out of the frosting. All right, so what I do actually wanted to, so I have my piping bag and let me just throw that out. I use the Press and Seal by Glad. And what I do is I'll put my frosting inside of it. That way I can um, just take the bag right out. Just gonna cut a little tip. All right. Let's finish this off. I have some more frosting just hardening up in the fridge. Just trying to fill in some of the spaces. And I'm gonna have to get my other bag. Okay. Gosh, this smells so good. I'm just filling in the little areas that need some soap. Oops, that's okay. Yeah, so I've started soaping about maybe three months ago. And I really enjoy it. And I just started watching a lot of YouTubers who make soap. And I did my research for a couple of months before even dabbing my fingers into it. I watched it for a couple of months. Um, because you need a lot of research when it comes to soap. People are using the soap and you want to make sure that you're correctly making soap and i try to use all organic ingredients because that's what i would want to use for my skin so that is why 
I choose to go with all organic. Pretty much just going everywhere now on my soap. I really wish I would have waited just a little bit to make sure it was thickened up, but that's okay. It's still gonna make a great bar of soap. And then I'm gonna place my embeds on it. gonna take my gloves off for this because I can't place them on correctly without my gloves so I'm just gonna kind of place them right on the sides I have a pink and a dark purple to place on them oops let me take that one out of there. There we go. And there's no wrong way to decorate your soap. That's the way I look at it. It's going to come out great either way. It's whatever your imagination brings you to. That's the way I look at it. I don't give out my recipes only because I wouldn't want to be responsible for someone wasting product. It's very expensive, especially if you use all organic ingredients. And the way I look at it is if you really want to learn, you just got to do your research, get a book or, you know, soap calc, which calculates your what you should be using in a soap percentage wise um, is very useful. Um, I joined a forum, a Facebook group, and you know, I got a lot of help from that. There's a group saponification um, on Facebook and everyone was wonderful on that forum, like absolutely wonderful. Um, so, I mean, I highly recommend you do your research. I'm just placing some balls on here. Let me actually get you guys a little closer here. There we go. That way you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Oops. I messed that one up. So I changed the topping because I was going to do white, but my titanium dioxide wasn't cooperating for some reason. And I'm not sure why. It was going towards the yellow side. So I'm not sure. I've never had that happen to me. So I had to make it a different color for the topping. So we'll see. You can't win them all, that's what I say. I mean, you can try, but you don't. I just have fun with it. I make sure that if you're gonna make soap, it's something you enjoy doing. gonna go on this side again do I have enough I should have enough I hope I have enough. that right I just want to make sure before I start putting stuff on my soap that I have enough in beds for it there we go and I do use biodegradable glitter on my soaps 
I do like the glitter. I'm not gonna lie. It gives it a cute little topping to it. Trying to go even here. I don't want to go uneven. I want everybody to have an in bed on there. All right. Just a cute soap. I do like to do craft fairs, which I'll be doing a few this summer. Oh, I got some soap on my arm. And um, so, yeah, can't wait to do that. That's going to be really fun dragging my husband along because he does woodworking. He makes Patriot signs, Boston Bruins. Um, gosh, anything you name it with woodworking. He does amazing work. We're pretty much a team, so. Um, he's wonderful. And he helps me a lot with my molds because if I need a mold for my silicone, which is the green part inside the soap, inside the soap box, should I say. Um, he does this outer portion for me. So instead of me purchasing the whole mold, which they can be quite expensive, he makes them for me. So it's very talented. All right. Pretty much have them all covered here. There we go. All right. So I'm actually gonna spray this with alcohol. And I'm gonna glitter them. And I got this little pump from Nature Soap Supplies, and it is the cutest thing ever. I absolutely love it. All right, guys, let me take you in for a So I will be back to cut the soap tomorrow. I'm going to give it about... 24 hours. Um, sometimes I can cut it a little bit earlier than that, um, but I like to wait a full 24 hours. Hi everybody, I am back to cut my cotton candy cold process soap. It's been about 24 hours. It's still a little bit soft, um, but I don't want it that hard that way my wires can get through the soap easily um, and the soap cutter is from Etsy it's from good speed shop he's based out of Russia I will leave his Etsy shop in the bar below in the description bar all right let's get to cut and I just want to make sure that it's lined up I have a feeling some of my embeds are gonna be split yep let's see I don't want to split them completely let's see yeah some of them are gonna be split and I don't know why because I did it quite evenly Some of them are getting cut, but that's okay. Ooh, looks so pretty. All right, let me show you guys what the inside looks like. And that is my cotton candy cold process soap. And I use, I'm trying to set it so you guys can see. I use coconut oil 
shea butter, olive oil, and castor oil in my soaps, and it's all organic ingredients. So yeah, very pretty. It's a nice size bar of soap. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell down below. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. Thanks guys.